The checkboxes question is a simple close-ended question that lets people choose multiple answers from a list of choices. It's a fantastic question type for asking people to select all the choices that apply to them. Let's learn how to set up your question and how it looks when you check out your results. A friendly tip, the checkbox question lets people choose multiple answers, which may not always be the best solution. If you need people to select only one choice, such as for a Likert scale, use the multiple choice question instead. After you've added a checkboxes question to your survey, enter your question or statement at the top. Then add any answer choices below. When you click on the last answer choice, a new one is automatically added below, but you can click the plus button to add more or the minus button if you'd rather remove an option or two. If you already have your answer choices elsewhere, click bulk answers and copy and paste your list of answer choices so you don't have to type them out one by one. If your list of answers doesn't cover all possible options, add an other text box as an answer choice. This way people can enter their own answer instead of choosing one of yours. The options tab has even more settings. For instance, if you click require an answer to this question, you can specify how many choices the respondent has to answer. So if you need people to choose their top three choices, you could set the drop down to exactly three. You could even go one step further by adding a ranking question on the next page and carrying forward their three answers so they can properly rank their top three choices. When you view your results, your checkboxes question will show in an easy to read bar chart with more data underneath should you need a bit more detail. You may notice your graph adds up to more than 100% of responses. This is super normal and happens because people can pick several answer choices. So the total number of choices selected is often greater than the total number of people that answered the question. If you'd like to change how your chart looks, click Customize. You can choose from any charts except the pie and donut charts. Click Display Options to customize things a bit further. For example, if you'd like to show the number of people that picked each answer rather than the percentage, change the axis scale to absolute. You can also click Data in Chart to show those numbers in the chart. The Labels tab lets you edit any label in the question, including the question text itself. Perfect for longer labels that can be shortened for charts. Be sure to save your changes when you're happy with everything and you'll have your data looking exactly how you want.